There we go. Oh, there's two there. There's two there. And an invasion. What is this? That's not good. Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here with another TerraTech episode. Now last episode what we did is we built this little shotgun uh, speedy car thing here and it works pretty amazing. I don't have any armor so I can't really shoot too many enemies without destroying it but uh, look at this thing. Works pretty good. I'm kind of vulnerable right now because I have no shield. But anyways, what we are going to do this episode- Oh, I better get out of here. <laughs> what we are going to be doing this episode is we are actually going to be building a new Hawkeye Tech. And also, we are going to be uh, renovating the base a little bit. Making it a little more efficient so that we could store more items on it. As well as adding a few more of the- a cannons to sell all of our raw resources. Now, I already had this recorded, so here it is, guys, and let's go. All right, it is now morning, so we can kind of see what we are going to do. What I'm going to do is I am going to remove a bunch of stuff from the base so that I can replace them where I want, kind of organize it a little bit. Uh, we don't need some of these things in here, plus it is a little messy. I think we could do better. Oh. Are you kidding me? Was that- That's what was holding up my base. Oh no. My base is now a vehicle. Are you kidding me? That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Because now if we do that, this is not going to work. Our delivery cannons won't work because it is mobilized. It has to be static. That really sucks. Are you kidding me? I don't want to rebuild my base. No! <laughs> really. I don't want- I don't know why you can't have more than one point of anchoring. Because this really sucks. How do I re-anchor it? I don't think I can, guys. So, that means we're gonna have to redesign the whole base. And there it is. Plop right on the ground. Well then. Oh man. That is a really big bummer and time waster. This game takes up a lot of time already. Our base is so empty. It's gone. It is gone. Well, I think what we could do is we can actually put it down a little more so it's flatter. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to have this fixed anchor block here as the main piece of our base so I know not to remove it this time. We're going to put these uh, big blocks on it to house the main part of our base, I guess. These parts here aren't cheap either. So I'm only going to use this many here and that should be good. Now to redesign the whole base, I'm going to rebuild the body it's similar to how it was before but I'm going to have spots for our turrets. So, there we go, guys. I got the turrets replaced. Oh, man. This really sucks. <laughs> so, the batteries are gonna go right here. It's gonna be kind of shielded by the base here, and it's gonna be indented into the ground so we can put more of them. That is perfect. Let's add our batteries. I got 91 of them. So, we can add quite a bit of them. I think this will fill it right up. Store a lot of power. And it would be perfect. It'll be very perfect. I think, I think that is enough batteries. That is about 80 something batteries there. Now to add our solar panels, we got 22 of these. These could just get plopped right up top. Come on. Why aren't you guys going straight? There you go. Awesome. All right. So we're going to have the conveyor belts come in through the bottom like our last base. Because I really like that. These are going to be placed right over here i think three or four four would be good uh i guess yeah four would be good so that we can sell a lot of uh resources and parts and then i'm just gonna build from there and that should work pretty well so we got these silos here to store our resources let's we'll throw these around the base like like this um i might have to move those though i don't know if i like them being there because we have to actually put our fabricators. We can only have one fabricator. Uh, we'll put it there. So it's kind of hiding that mess. 
I think that looks good. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Looks cool. And then we're going to actually have to put our refineries in here to make the parts. I think that'll look good. There we go. I got these little silos as well. Let will just throw them on in there. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Now to add our receivers. A few scrappers here. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that base. Now we need to add shields before I forget. So here it is guys, here's the new base, look at this, this thing is pretty awesome. I'm still going to be adding stuff to it, but it works a lot better than the old one. It was such a shame for the old base to be completely destroyed because of us removing the static block from it, which kind of sucks. I wish they would have multiple static blocks for bases, but uh, lesson learned, I guess, it's hidden back there. But anyways, what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be building a new Hawkeye tech that you guys suggested to me and that is actually a sniper based vehicle. And that is going to be the Goss Rifle Tank. Now it's going to be a little slower because I think Goss Rifles are heavier, but I think I also want to make it a little more versatile than other ones, adding a bunch of tracks close together, allowing it to turn a lot faster. Uh, there's a lot of enemies near my base, isn't there? Um, get out of here, buddy. This guy's gonna do some damage to me. Maybe not. No, he's he's gone. I already lost some cannons on this vehicle because I didn't have enough charge. And, uh, yeah. So let's uh, go build that new car. I also gotta do some more scrapping. I did some scrapping in between the episodes as well as selling stuff. Alright, so let's begin building the Hawkeye Railgun Sniping Tank. So we got a bunch of these tank tracks already. So I need to go in here and I need to buy a bunch of these rail guns. I call them Goss rifles because they're pretty much the same thing. So just buy a bunch of these. I don't know how many. I think that is pretty good right there. Now buy some parts. This thing doesn't really need to be armored very much except for like the front because it is going to be long range if we can manage that. So just buy some of these here. Some of these small pieces as well. And I think we're pretty much good already. Maybe a repair bubble as well. Okay, so we need to build like a little body. Um, I usually go about, uh, I don't know, five by however much extra I need. So for this thing, I think we're going to make this pretty long so we can fit a lot of Gauss rifles on. I think I'm just going to go with this for now. We'll see how this works. Put a bunch of these on. Oh, we're going to need more of these, I think. Now let's throw our rail guns on here. Now how many can we put? I want to put these kind of like, I don't know, on the inside mostly like this. Not sure how well it's going to work, but we will see. Um, maybe we should get the tracks on though to see how big this is actually going to be. Like look at this thing. This thing looks pretty sweet already guys. <laughs> we could have the extra tracks on the side like this. Oh wow, yeah. That is pretty awesome. I just don't like this little uh, cab here. We'll move that. It's not very fast though, which is understandable because these things are so heavy. So what we can do is we can add armor now. I'm going to add a little bit of armor. There we go. This is starting to look really cool. I'm not sure if it's going to be very good, but we're going to test it out pretty soon. Let's get some more armor on. I'm going to use um, mixed armor pieces from like the GSO for the siding here. That might make it a little heavier. But I guess we could add some more tracks on the side here, like that. Sweet, look at this, guys. That works pretty great. So in this hollow cavity here, I am actually going to add some shields as well as our repair bubble. Um, I need to buy more pieces, though. All right, that should be good enough for batteries. We are not going straight into battle, so we won't be as vulnerable. So that should work. Okay, now let's uh, throw some more blocks on here to... Uh, close that to make sure it does not get hit if we do ever get into battle. Look at this little thing. It's awesome. Now for more armor, I'm just going to add some of these GSO platings to the side here like this. It'll make it a lot heavier, but it should help with defense. And we are pretty much good to test this railgun tank out, guys. Let's uh, charge up first, though. We are not as fast as we were before because of all this armor, but I think this thing should work very well. Okay, charge up. Okay, so 
There is our first enemy there, guys. Can we actually hit him is the question. Oh, close. Okay, oh, we hit him. He's, he's coming to us. He, he sees us. Okay, we're doing good. Doing good. Point at him. Oh, wow. We're putting holes right through him, guys. Look at this. We made a little sniper tank. Th Whoa! <laughs> he exploded. He is dead. I love this thing. This thing is awesome, guys. So this little thing is amazing. I figured out that the targeting laser just tells you where you're aiming, which is nice. It would be cool if you could actually, like, uh, point to where you want to shoot, especially for, like, rockets and such. Okay, so there's a guy behind these trees here. Let's just get rid of the trees. Oh, come on. There he is. Can we get him? Oh, he's coming to us. He's coming to us. And he is immobilized. Oh, he's still going. Never mind. <laughs> he still has two tires. <laughs> Let's back up. He's going to come over the hill and we're going to destroy him. Bam. Oh, yeah. He has one tire. And now he is pretty much just a tire. And yeah. Let's see what this does close up. Come on. Oh, he's dead. He is dead. And we're still going for our licenses, guys. Look at this. I think we're almost maxed for, maxed for GSO, though. We still got a little bit for Venture and Geocorp. Okay, so let's uh, go kill this guy over here. We could probably hit him from here. Yeah, we did. Nice. Kill him. And I think he's pretty much dead. We could throw some cruise missiles on this, guys. But what I want to do is I want to build a vehicle's... Uh, based on themes and this would be like a sniper build I guess in a sense you could use missiles on sniper vehicles but this is strictly a Gauss rifle vehicle I do want to kind of build like a little rocket truck but it's not going to be very similar to real rocket trucks as the back um, rocket bays won't actually move up and down okay kill this guy here I gotta aim properly oh there we go it's starting to aim by itself. Oh no, oh no, oh no, he's coming right up to us. I think he's a little limited for his movement though. Okay. Oh, we're getting damaged quite badly. Come on, dude. Show yourself. Show yourself. I'll just destroy the rocks to see you. Okay, we might as well back up. Oh, he's coming to us. He's coming to us. Oh man, this ain't good. This ain't good. Blow him up before our shield, before our batteries die. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. He is dead. I thought we were in a little bit of a predicament there, guys. But we managed to come out not damaged at all. Repair bubble works very well. Okay. So we're going to head over here. And I think what we are going to do is we are actually going to try to take out a gang of enemies. Because I know there's a bunch here. Okay, here they are, guys. This is the Venture Tech Gang. They might be a little problem because they're more speedy than us, but we're going to try to kill them. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's two there. There's two there. And an invasion. What is this? That's not good. Maybe we could test out our um, vehicle on the invader there. Are they killing each other? I don't think they're supposed to be doing that. Okay, there we go, guys. We got a good sniping spot here. We just got to readjust. Um, there we go. Look at that. It's working really good. Nice. There's the invader too. Um, I'm just going to let that little guy do some damage to him. Get his shield up. Oh, man. That little block hit me. Okay, that guy's that guy's dead, I think, there. Let's hope he doesn't have any giant cannons on him. Are they even fighting? Can't tell. We're hitting him, which is nice. This vehicle is awesome for that. So we could probably get into position to hit the invader as well. Oh, that guy's dead. That's the last guy over there for the gang. Okay, I think we can hit him from here. If we get in the right position. There we go. We're hitting him. I really hope he has those giant cannons. Because if he does, that means we could buy them eventually. Put them on our vehicles. I haven't found them yet. And he, I think he's almost... He's dead, guys. He is dead. Whoa, that block flew high. Nice. They are the giant cannons. Sweet. Okay, let's go grab them really quick. This is awesome. I haven't found them yet, but now I have. Let's just throw them on this vehicle for now. They're not going to be on this vehicle, but 
It works. Okay, so we can take out this little guy here. We got these giant cannons for that, too. <laughs> Might as well get close up so our giant cannons can do some damage, too. <laughs> oh, that guy's dead. And we are victorious, guys. We took out a gang of three as well as an invader without them even touching us, barely. Which is nice. Ooh, what are these? Oh, nice. Is that the scrapper? That's a venture scrapper. That's good. I don't have to buy that. And these are the zero G plates. I think these are for hovering. Yeah, these are for hovering. Okay, so let's check out the little payload terminal here and see if we can actually buy those giant cannons. I'm pretty sure we can now. So let's go in here. Um, yeah, the megaton cannons. They're pretty expensive though, but I'm sure we can uh, get a little bit more money for them. But anyways, guys, if you do want me to build uh, any uh, theme-based vehicles, please let me know. That's pretty much it for this episode, though. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye!